Alrighty, we are now in the Optic 4 tent. We got the Optic 4 with the flower and veg on. We don't have the other uh, lights on because it gets pretty hot and puts out a bunch more uh, light and heat. So we're gonna just keep these uh, girls like this and uh, just throw them into the flower phase and when the actual flowers start coming in a lot more, we're gonna throw it into the uh, higher uh, setting and uh, by then we'll have the fan so it'll be a lot easier to keep this uh, tent cool but some updates on the girls is they are definitely shooting up towards the light they're filling in their canopy really nicely this girl over here looks like the healthiest one very very healthy leaves on it uh, yeah this living soil one's doing pretty decent too these other two they got some you got some problems down here it looks like but uh, I think that was from the pH problem and we pH them and the new growth looks pretty good nice and healthy looking uh, we definitely need to give these girls a feeding we're gonna feed them we're gonna feed them the very first flower nutrients these three this one just pH water and yeah some updates on the flowering we are getting a lot of bud sites where there's two pistols coming out so normally uh, when you just see sex there's only one pistol when they're going into flower you'll start seeing the actual two pistols and that's the first sign we got flower initiated so very excited with that can't wait to see what these girls can do I'm already noticing that these Burmese Kush here they're always forming trichromes all over like uh, very small trichromes in the leaves so that's a great sign that they're already uh, getting triked up uh, this bag seed I'm not even sure what kind of I have no idea what kind this is I'm guessing some kind of a sativa hybrid dominant uh, hopefully a kush but we're gonna see so yeah that's the update for the girls here this, this is about day four of flowering for these girls here so they're right on schedule showing more and more pistols here and uh, hopefully they go right into full flower here in the next week or two so we're gonna feed these girls up give them the first uh, blast of flower nutrients and uh, call our day for this tent so Let's move on to the next one. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the 3.3 by 3.3 uh, Optic 4 tent. We got the Optic 4. We just raised it up a little bit further. We got it pretty much uh, 2 feet, 24 inches away from the plants. And that's pretty much as high as we can go. We could probably put it a little bit higher but it's kind of pushing it. So these girls here are in their uh, second week. They're just going into their second week. And as you can see, we'll do a little close up here. Right on, we got bud sites happening everywhere. Looking very beautiful. Lots of white hairs. So yeah, these girls are throwing into flower here. Sometimes uh, regular plants they take uh, a week or two just to show sex But these have been showing sex for a while now, so they pretty much went right into flowering so Getting very frosty <clears throat> So they're starting to hair up pretty nicely uh, putting on a lot of pistols As you can see here um, I'd say this uh, Burmese Kush is gonna be a little bit uh, smaller because it's kind of slowing down on the growth spurt this unknown one here it's uh kind of shooting up a little bit more it's kind of the tallest now and i'm not really going to do any more training or lst and just gonna let them do their thing uh yeah so far so good so the first week i pretty much only had it on the cobs these uh white ones here and last week i finally started putting on the uh, five watt flowering boosters and it seems to be doing really nicely uh, for a while there I had it a little close for a little while there I had it a little too close to have the full lights going uh, I think it was about 15 16 inches away and due to the wires that it came with that's pretty much as far as it could go with this tent so I kind of had to 
tight up there and uh, now it's all good so yeah everything's looking very beautiful in this tent very happy with this uh, really even canopy definitely pays off to do a lot of topping and uh, super cropping and stuff like that because after like a month or two it really evens out and uh, looks really good when you have it all nice and even and uh, the light can hit it all in the uh, same spots so should really help produce some buds got tons of tops here so yeah I'm expecting good things from this tent uh, should be another seven weeks probably until these girls are done maybe six if they're a little fast but we'll see but so far I'm really happy with this optic for light it's doing a great job really producing these girls over here they're praying upwards gotta love that these girls this girl here we just gave it another blast of uh, pH water and it's looking really healthy we got some praying going on reaching for the lights so that's always a good sign so these three Burmese Kush were actually fed uh, about six or seven days ago and we are gonna give them another feeding today fully throw these girls into bloom give them a nice big blast of uh, bloom fertilizer and after that I'm gonna give them just uh, plain water for a week or so and uh, yeah do it all over again so uh, water this one yesterday these ones are gonna be watered tonight going down here you can see the leaves are a little bit droopy on this girl here Let's zoom in there a little bit droopy did a lot of lollipopping took all the bud sites away all the dead leaves and stuff and yeah it's looking a lot better uh, a lot more airflow and stuff so that is it for the optic 4 grow tent update everything's looking beautiful in here bud sites are coming in nicely and judging by this growth I think in the next two weeks there's gonna be some really nice bud sites happening and getting fat so stay tuned for that these girls are popping off and yeah so far loving this light the girls are loving it too so until next time guys peace out stay stony catch you guys later alrighty welcome back everyone to the optic 4 tent these girls are doing beautiful there's some nice growth happening starting to uh, kind of space apart and we're getting a lot of bud structure here starting to form looking really nice really like that bud structure tons of tops sticking up everywhere they're doing some praying here praying is when the leaves kind of stick upwards like it is right now pointing upwards almost like it's praying to the light so we got that on pretty much all the plants here. We gave them a feeding two days ago and they are loving it. Definitely fully going right into flower. Yeah. This girl here is a little possibly deficient. It's getting a little bit of a yellow leaf over here. A little bit light green. So I'm uh, just going to watch the pH levels and uh, yeah. Try to just feed it nice regular feedings, heavy doses. The girls seem to like the heavy doses and uh, keep doing that. So I'm just feeding the full amount for uh, what it calls for, for the Remo nutrients. We got the lights on full uh, spectrum. We got the uh, Veg and Bloom and the 5 watt uh, Bloom Enhancer going on. And since we put the 5 watt uh, bloom enhancers on, it seems to be uh, definitely increasing the growth and increasing the bud uh, development. So that is really good. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to try to feed these girls as much as possible. They're decently sized plants. They're over three months old. I think we're in a day 16 or so for uh, flowering under this uh, Optic 4 here. Doing a great job. Loving this light so far. Perfect for a three foot by three foot tent or like this tent is a 3.3 by 3.3 so it's pretty much a one meter tent by one meter tent. I like this tent because it gives you just enough uh, extra room so the branches aren't like rubbing against the walls and stuff. 
but still nice and closed doing great with this optic four light and yeah I can't really ask for much more um, all these girls were lollipopped so except for this one here I'm just uh, playing around with it and uh, gonna just leave the bottom leaves I took off all the bud sites all the way up to here but left the leaves and uh, just to see what happens maybe it helps produce bigger buds or who knows but but pretty much the leaves are like power generators so I figured just leave them on and uh, yeah it should help because light does penetrate down here not too much but there is light penetration but yeah so far so good loving this even canopy makes everything way easier makes running this light way easier because when you have a really tall plant and a really short plant it kind of makes it annoying because it's not really getting the right uh, length away from the light for all of them so it's much better like this where it's all even you know how much you need to have the light away for this one it should be two feet away so we got it two feet away and hopefully they don't uh, grow too too much with this uh, growth spurt that they go through during the bloom but uh, we can go a little bit higher if needed. So that's a little update for the girls here in day 16 of Bloom. We got three uh, Burmese Kush and we got the one unknown bag seed. So far, so good. Looking beautiful. This tent's pretty much full with uh, plants, so I'm expecting some decent, decent yields. Yeah, check it out in all its glory. These girls just basking away beautiful sight. I think I'm gonna have to take some pictures of this. All right that's it for this update. They're looking beautiful. We won't be feeding them for another five six days and then I think we're gonna give them another full blast of nutrients and uh, see how they take. If they're getting a little burnt we're gonna kind of slow down just give them water for a bit but we kind of want to push these girls as much as we can. So until next time guys peace out stay stony stay high and catch you guys later. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Optic 4 tent. We got the Optic 4 up here. We just raised it to pretty much the maximum height we could possibly raise it in this tent. Can't really go any much further. It's pretty much uh, just about two feet away from the canopy. So on the canopy we got about 1000 par with this Optic 4. So definitely putting out some really nice uh, light output and uh, really making these uh, bud sites grow very nicely so this is the one with the living soil and it's actually doing producing the best it looks like really nice really frosty nugs looking really beautiful I'll zoom in for you guys some great nugs and this one is bag seed by the way so I have no idea what it is, but it's producing very nicely. Over here we have the Burmese Kush, the Burmese Kushes all over here. Uh, they're producing pretty nicely too, very frosty buds. A little zoom in for you guys. Definitely get some frost. Looks like they might be getting a little bit of a nitrogen deficiency during the flower here. So, so what we did is we got some uh, worm castings. Got a bag of worm castings here, and uh, filling up these uh, top dressing these pots here. And uh, we're gonna give them a nice watering, just water, and with the worm castings and see how they react. After that, we'll go back to uh, regular feeding. But looking pretty good so far. Uh, really liking this Optic 4. It's producing very nicely. Hoping to get, can get at least half a pound off these uh, four girls, but we'll see. We got the carbon filter in here, sucking out all the hot air. It's doing a lot better. And yeah, so far so good. This is week three and a half. So for a week three and a half, they're doing great. Uh, I checked and there's not really any light leaks. And if there was, I try to pretty much cover it up with a blanket when I uh, put these girls to sleep. Put a blanket over the tent, kind of. Stop the light getting through and uh, seems to help a bit. Um, what else to talk about? 
yeah, so, so far so good. Uh, we've been giving them feedings of flower nutrients every single feeding or every single watering and uh, they seem to be doing okay other than uh, I think this is light burn here because it was the light was just getting a little too close maybe or it could possibly be nitrogen so we'll see I think we're gonna give these girls a little boost of uh, CalMag just to uh, help out a bit because I know LED lights use up a lot of CalMag when you're growing plants with them so yeah so far so good beautiful canopy still this one here is kind of reaching up a little bit higher than the rest producing a little bit bigger buds but hey can't complain with that gotta love bigger buds so pretty much what I'm gonna do is just put the earthworm castings in here and just mix it into the topsoil here and when I water it it should go break into the soil a bit more give these girls a nice feeding a nice blast of earthworm nutrients so yeah I gave them a bunch of earthworm castings and uh, we'll see how they like it all right we've got some pH soil and we're just gonna give these girls a nice blast got some cow mag in there too Let's see how this helps So this has been the uh, week three and a half update for the Optic 4, doing beautifully. Hope you guys like this update, a little zoom in for these beautiful girls. We're about to give them a nice watering, thought I'd give you guys an update, show you what's grown on here. So yeah, that's it for this update, hope you guys stay stony, peace out. Stay high and uh, catch you guys later. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Optic 4 tent. We got the Optic 4 up here, shining away, doing its thing. And down here we have the Burmese Kush and the Unknown. So things are going pretty good. We got some uh, browning and yellowing going on. They're going into week four here pretty soon. They're going into week four here right away. So hopefully we see explosion and growth. Um, yeah, we gave these girls a big blast of earthworm castings, some top feeding, and uh, seems to hopefully have stopped the yellowing. Got lots of green all around the branches here. These two girls here weren't really affected as bad. But as you can see, the bud quality and structure on this girl is pretty freaking amazing. This is the one in the uh, super soil and it seems to be pretty ahead. Like this one over here, this one's doing pretty damn good. I'm not sure if this is an early finishing strain or something but it is definitely putting on the weight. Super super crisply. Try to zoom in here for you guys. Very, very crisply. Get some really nice structure on all these buds. But these two girls here smell the best out of all of them. And uh, yeah, so these ones, the buds aren't that big right now. Kind of small, but these are cushions, so they could be producing some really small, very dense, very potent nugs. And uh, this one's smelling like it's a kind of a sativa hybrid. It's got like a kind of a sativa, piney, sweet smell to it. So I'm guessing it's some kind of a sativa. But either way, it should be some nice, nice frosty nugs. Looks like the Optic 4 is doing an awesome job here. Fan in here is doing a great job of sucking all the heat out. And yeah, everything's looking pretty happy in here. We got a fan in here, blowing everything around. And we have the Optic 4 as high as possible we can go on this tent. And this is a uh, six foot tent, I believe. Definitely if you're going with the Optics, you may want to have a big tent because you really can't grow them too high. You need around two feet of space because this thing definitely pumps out the par value in the light. Uh, so you got to be two feet away and you're getting about a thousand par. Optic 4 tent, 
doing great, looking very healthy. Hopefully the earthworm castings help slow down the yellowing process for these two girls, but the rest looks very healthy. This girl back here seems to be the healthiest uh, Burmese Kush. It's got some very nice bud structure going on. Looking very nice, very nice smell on it too. But yeah, stay tuned. We got another five or six weeks to go with this Optic 4 grow. And then I think we might be going on to an autoflower trial with this uh, light. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Seems to be doing very nicely for these uh, photo period plants. So I think that's it for this update. Uh, yeah, really like what's going on in this tent. Looking very beautiful. Smells are amazing coming out of here. Definitely needing this uh, carbon filter to suck it out. It's very handy for having that. So until next time guys, peace out, stay stony, stay high, and uh, catch you guys on the flip side. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Optic 4 Garden. We're back checking in on the girls, checking on this beautiful light. And oh my goodness, look at this. We are in about week five and a half for these girls. And uh, going into week six here. And these girls are looking beautiful. Uh, this one here and this one here, these two Burmese Kush, Cure Seeds Burmese Kush. Um, they are a little bit behind. I think they're the same phenotype, so maybe it's a phenotype where it's like a week or two behind. Uh, this phenotype here, it's got some pretty decent sized nugs going on there. Looking very beautiful. Very, very nice. But, something that people say, oh, you should never, never do, this is bag seed. A lot of people say never, never run bag seed. But oh my goodness, look at this bag seed. Try to zoom in here. We're going into 4K now, showing you guys the uh, crystal density of this plant. Like this, I don't know what this plant is, but as you can see, there is trichromes everywhere. The entire leaves are just sugared right up. Thing looks beautiful like I said I have no idea what this is really but man it's, it is some frosty frosty stuff no nanner so far so this girl is doing fine in my books uh, we're going into week five and a half so it's way past the point of them even worrying about them making seeds or anything so yeah this unknown and this uh, cure seeds uh, Burmese Kush over here they are going to be the very first to be done, it looks like. And I'm guessing they'll be done around week eight or so. They're looking very right on schedule. These ones here, a little bit behind. They're still developing. But of, out of the Burmese Kush, these ones are very, very frosty. And have probably the best smell out of uh, everything. So yeah, they're a little bit behind, but they do have the best smell. So I really like the phenotype for the quality. But uh, the quantity, it's not really putting on that much bud structure compared to the other phenotype. It's very frosty compared to that one. So they are looking very beautiful. Get some zoom ins here. So this is about day 40 for these girls under the Optic 4 here. And uh, so far, I am loving this light. It's doing a beautiful job. Uh, you definitely have to make sure it is two feet away because this is a powerful light and it definitely puts out the uh, light so you don't want to fry your plants so we're keeping it two feet away and we're getting some very decent results we have a very nice sea of green going here we have four plants we have the unknown bag seed that's very frosty and we have the three Burmese Kush so yeah, these girls were vegged for three months or so under the autoflower grow, just off to the side and just uh, we topped them and we did a bunch of uh, super cropping and stuff while they're growing and we made this beautiful canopy. And uh, yeah, so far it seems to be paying off. Covering this whole 3.3 by 3.3 tent very nicely. We got the four inch uh, carbon filter and fan here sucking out the heat and keeping it at a very decent temperature. 
and you can see they're actually getting a lot of purple in here so when the lights do go out we're right by window so it does get a little cold um, we turn on the heat as much as we could there is a heater right beside this but uh, you can only heat it so much and uh, yeah it is a very cold winter it's already uh, minus 15 or minus 17 here definitely getting a little cold here but these tents are keeping us nice and warm and my plan for keeping us warm with these tents are kind of working I checked my bill and uh, we're only paying probably like $75 $50 more on our bill to heat this place than we were when we first moved in with no lights at all so yeah we're definitely uh, using the heat to our advantage with these lights. So we just suck out all the heat and it heats uh, the downstairs. As you can see, this light definitely produces some decent sized buds. These ones over here are just fat. This phenotype is definitely different. It smells very fruity and uh, it smells really delicious actually. That's the update so far, day 40, five and a half weeks in. Countdown is beginning for the harvest. Uh, I think we'll give them one more feeding. This girl has been getting only straight water the whole time, and it's almost got me sold on the super soils. Um, it's doing beautifully, and I really can't complain with only having to give it water. So that's the upside with that. Um, but yeah, that is it for this update. We'll keep you guys informed on what's going on here. We're gonna give them one more feeding, like I said, and then gonna be flushing these girls. So stay tuned for that. Very excited for this harvest, hoping for at least half a pound, but we'll see. So that's it for this update, guys. Peace out, stay stony, stay high, stay safe. Catch you guys later. All right, welcome back to the Optic 4 3x3, three three, or 3.3x3.3 3 3 tent. So this Optic 4, is just pumping out the power. So these girls are doing very beautifully. I always love opening up this tent. It just looks beautiful here with all the colors. It looks like beautiful fall colors. Purples and yellows and greens. So definitely it seems like uh, the earthworm castings help this plant uh, keep their green a bit longer into flower. Um, this one's starting to lose its, its green. So we're gonna flush these. We haven't flushed these yet. I'm thinking we got about 14 more days with them. This bag seed here, the uh, unknown, I think it must be some like very fast genetics because looking at this thing, I, I looked at the trichomes. I took a picture of it with a uh, high resolution uh, photo and zoomed right into it and it's probably 20% amber. So it's very close to be done. It could be chopped right now. Uh, I guess it doesn't need flushing because it's uh, super soil, so we just give it water the whole time. But uh, one thing I did notice is these leaves here on this branch, you guys can see, they just look really bad and like, like dying or something. I was like, what's going on? And then I look down here and it's actually broken off. So, yeah, as you can see there, it's just hanging on by a thread. It's a little thread there, and that's the only way it's getting water to it. So yeah, I don't know how long that's been hanging like that off the plant, but this whole plant is just falling over. It's very, very heavy. When I try to lift it up, you can definitely tell there's a lot of weight behind these buds, so yeah. This will be coming down in, I believe, six days, and that'll give a lot more room for these plants so we can kind of spread them out so they're not so cramped together. But yeah, this bag seed's doing amazing. I don't know what strain it is, but it is triked right out. Like this bud here, it almost seems like it's almost dry, so I might just chop it off and uh, test out early, see how the smoke is. Looking very beautiful for bag seed. You know, a lot of people say don't grow bag seed. It's really bad. You are more likely to get Hermes or something to go bad or it's going to be bad genetics or something like that. But I am very, very surprised. We've got some big, nice buds, very crystally. It smells pretty dank, very sticky stuff. 
could make some amazing resin because it's very triked out. So got a new rosin press coming in the mail soon. So I'm gonna actually have a little rosin off here. So I'm gonna do a rosin off with the Amazon rosin press versus a rosin tech rosin press. So stay tuned for that. Might be using some of these buds for that. Uh, looks like some good quality for for making raw. Looks like some definitely good quality for making rosin, but yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful tent. These girls are definitely, definitely loving this Optic 4. So yeah, these girls, they'll be flushed either tonight or tomorrow, and then 14 days later, we'll be chopping them down. I haven't really been feeding them all. I haven't really been feeding them for like the last two weeks, because I think I overfed them. They seem to be handling feeding so well for the first like four weeks like they they seem to just love the feeding the heavy feedings but after that they just seem really pissed off they got some really cracked up leaves here and it seemed like they really didn't like it so i just gave them so i just gave them ph water from uh then on we got some decent buds showing up on here i think this is more of a cush and uh more of a smaller strain or this is a cush, so maybe it's more smaller, denser buds. They're very, very tight, dense buds. So that could be the case, or it could be these two are just smaller phenotypes. These one, this one here has very nice, decent sized buds comparable to uh, this, this one here. So very happy with the quality so far and the trike production. Some very, very crisply smelly stuff so so we're coming to an end with this optic 4 grow garden and as you can guys see this light grows some pretty dank stuff and some pretty beautiful stuff so can't wait to get a new strain in here and uh, try some more out and uh, yeah really liking this light so far and it seems to do perfect for a tent this size 3.3 by 3.3 perfect coverage and yeah, does a great job. So stay tuned for the upcoming harvest in a couple weeks and uh, keep you guys informed. So peace out, stay Sony. Catch you guys later. All right, welcome back to the Optic 4 Grow Tent, guys. So we are about six to seven days away from the harvest of these three girls. So it'll be the end of their flush. We just flushed them about seven days ago. This one here in the uh, living soil we are going to be chopping her down now. As you can see, this thing is done for. It is so heavy, it can't even uh, lift itself up anymore. It's, if I don't prop it up against these uh, plants here, it completely falls over. So it's having a hard time keeping up with all the weight. So we looked and it's about 10% amber. And uh, yeah, I'm going to say it is time to chop this bad boy down or bad girl, I'd say. It is looking super frosty super tasty see that this is the bag seed that i have no idea what's what kind or what is it but uh very frosty and uh super dense buds really nice beautiful dense buds on this looks like it makes some awesome uh rosin so we're gonna chop this down i don't think we're gonna do a video where we're uh sitting down talking about it because it just there's there's no way we could prop this thing up. It just wants to fall right over. So we're just going to chop it and go hang it up and take all the fan leaves off. But yeah, looking like a beautiful plant. This garden is just popping off with this Optic 4. Look at these beautiful purple buds. Very, very nice. Some beautiful looking buds here. These two here smell amazing. This one here is crazy, crazy dense. So yeah, looking like a very nice little harvest coming up here in a couple days. And gonna be throwing some new girls in here pretty soon. And uh, we got this Optic 4 as high as possibly we can go on this uh, six foot tent here. And uh, looks like these girls are liking what they're getting, so. We got a lot of beautiful buds coming down. Gonna be harvested right away. So let's get chopping 
Um, I'm going to be very gentle because this thing wants to pretty much just fall right over. So we're probably just going to chop it right in here and uh, take it and take off the fan leaves while we're holding it. I think that would be the easiest way. And then we're going to go throw it in the closet to let it dry for probably a good 7, 10 days hopefully. And uh, yeah, should be some awesome smoke. Also another reason why we're chopping this down is we found nanners coming out of this thing. I'm not really sure where it is. I think that might be one. So another reason why we're chopping this grill down right away is we have found nanners on it. So male hermaphrodite flowers and it is bag seed, but it's pretty much harvest time. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not too worried about it uh, pollinating anything or dropping. So. so even though we found nanners at the end turning hermaphrodite, it doesn't really matter. There's probably not going to be any seeds, maybe one or two, but it definitely won't really affect the quality. Um, yeah, so let's start ripping off all these fan leaves and get this thing hanging. All right, so we got her all down, got the fan leaves off, and it's like a pretty decent sized harvest. It's got a definitely, definitely got some weight to it. So it feels pretty decent, nice and heavy. <laughs> Buds are just falling everywhere. But yeah, I had to chop this down. I didn't want it to go to mold because it was leaning all over the other buds and the other plants there and I didn't want it to go into Hermy much more so definitely time to come down. It's about 60 days for this girl on a flower. So we're going to take this girl upstairs and let her dry in the closet. But it's got some definitely nice buds on here. Very fat, very dense up top. It's a little bit fluffy at the bottom but I think that's kind of expected when it's such a thick canopy and I did take some leaves off but I should have did a way bigger leaf strip so definitely something I'll do in the future because you can tell the top buds are huge and very dense and then once you get about, uh, about down to here then it starts getting a little fluffier and uh, yeah I think if I would have did a way bigger leaf strip it would have came out better but we can always do that next time and uh, we will definitely improve our techniques and always get better and better so stay tuned for that and let's go hang this thing up to dry and then there was three so that's it for that girl and I think we're gonna move these around so they're a little bit better placed in here so they have a bit more air movement there we go got a range so it's under the light a little bit better got a little bit more air movement and so it's not gonna touch the sides so yeah looking good in here one more week under this light under the optic four and we'll be getting a nice beautiful harvest lots of purple buds Super crisply, super dank, right on. So until next time guys, peace out, stay stony, catch you guys later. Alrighty, welcome back to the very last day of the Optic 4 Grow. We got the three girls in here and they pretty much swelled up very nicely. We're going to be chopping them down today. The first one came down about a week ago. These ones have been flushing for 14 days and it is the 14th day so we're going to be chopping it down. Lots of fall colors in here, purples, greens, oranges, uh, yeah, looking very very nice. We'll zoom in for you guys. This one back here is definitely the most densest of them all, like you can barely even squeeze it so dense. So. This optic four can definitely put on the uh, the weight if it's the right strain and right phenotype. These things can uh, bulk up pretty decently. So, right on. Very happy with the uh, results with this light. And uh, as soon as we chop these ones down, we're going to be throwing the brand new optic four up, sending this one back, and uh, we're going to be trying out the brand new optic four with some uh, new Jordan of the Island seeds. So. Let's see how those turn out. These ones look pretty decent. But I should have definitely done leaf stripping and I will be doing it next time. Some of these lower buds just didn't fill out too good but uh, definitely learning from my mistakes. And it's always a little bit of a learning curve when you're growing with a brand new light. So now I know it's definitely needed. You gotta do a leaf strip and uh, let the light penetrate all the way in if you want nice dense bottom nugs or uh, lollipop a little bit more I could have done but all in all I'd say this is a pretty damn good grow um, yeah so we're gonna chop it down and uh, maybe 
maybe set it up on the table and show you guys how it looks out of the tent before we uh, actually chop it and yeah that is it so optic 4 did a great job produced some very nice decent quality cannabis here and uh, can't wait to get this chopped down and get it curing and get smoking it <laughs> so thanks for tuning in guys for this grow series more optic 4 videos to come and more grows to come so stay tuned for that and yeah until next time guys peace out